So, still three, region three, Douglas Lake Ranch. Man, I got, I got the call from Brent in uh, early August and uh, was over the moon, stoked, super excited to actually be part of this crew. Uh, we all met at uh, Colchena Hotel. Epic crew meet up as usual. Uh, lots of smiles, lots of laughs. We had about almost two hours of uh, downtime waiting for Mikey Green and it was actually a pleasant time. Well, nice of you to join us, Mikey. Well, you know how it goes. Well, in typical fashion, I always show up, you know, it's always late. The old rule, as I've heard lots, is when Mike tells you a time, Dude, buddy. Give an hour buffer. Mr. Jack. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good, Good to see man. ya. Got a lot of visiting in while we waited for Mike Green. He uh, was a little late. So Mike, why were you late? <laughs> <laughs> but he was working hard, so he had some shopping to do. He hung out there, got a good visit in, and then got to Mini Lake um, in this beautiful yurt that we're in here. and. Got all set up, got the boats in the water, got the trailers parked, got everything organized. Staying up pretty late there, Trev and I, last one's up. We had this brilliant idea that we're going to uh, come up with a, a still water ninja idea where as you get better, you progress up in belts. <laughs> so one of the things I really look forward to is uh, is getting together with the boys and doing our, uh, our tying night. So we uh, had a really good session. Um, you know, we were all challenged to, uh, to tie the fly we were having uh, a lot of success with, so. You know, of course we're third degree black belts ourselves, but we're thinking we're going to start handing out belts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so day one fishing, um, you know, we, uh, we were thinking that we'd be able to find some bigger fish in deeper water. Well, 
Last night we were seeing some action in the depths and we decided to go deep today, switch things up. Get off the shoals, try a little deep. Even though it's October, we're seeing action out deep. So we rolled up here, 28 feet. Decided to put a nice orange bead headed balance leech on here. <laughs> what about something like that, Mike? Is that what you're talking about? Look at that, that's 100%. Hey, okay, well there you go. You got another one? Nice tungsten bead. Oh my goodness, you one? And what we've done is we've getting off of, well me personally, I like to get off of the deep line, sink line, dangle technique. I like doing a long indicator line setup. And that's what's nice about running the scientific anglers tight and long paired with the linear 5104. I've had no issues fishing up to 35, 36 foot long indicator setups. You can just turn it right over. So right here, we're in about 29 feet. And I got this guy. He's in about 27 and change. Give or take. Nobody likes a perfect measure, so we just wing it, but we know where we are. That is my bread and butter. I like long line indicator fishing. I know a lot of guys like shallow water, but so I'm about seeing the indicator drop in that kind of short distance is really cool, especially on tiny flies. And you don't gotta go far when you're fishing this deep. You can see fish under the boat, they're gonna hit your stuff. And now all we do is we're just back in the rod holder. We wait, we had some fish going by on the bottom and that was our first hookup in the depths here. So we're gonna do that. And then we, of course we had to pump the guy and lots of just green Daphnia, a couple water mites and the odd Hyalella. So nothing crazy yet. Maybe in the afternoon when she warms up we might see some bug life, but for now, we're going to meet potatoes, boys. It's the uh, wise horizontal 180. Sometimes support, sometimes watch the vloggers. We had an amazing Thanksgiving dinner, getting all the crew together and cooking some steaks on the flat top outside the RV.
I used to live on the ranch for about five years, so it was actually pretty cool being back to film this video with Brian. Working on still three with my drone this time, catching some cool shots of the guys. I was super stoked on this trip to bring the crew down into Region 3 at Mini Lake. These are my old stomping grounds and it's just a spectacular place to fish. You've got this total flat landscape and rolling hills and huge skies, tons of fish. And you know, these shoots aren't always about trying to find the biggest fish. It's really about getting everybody together. There he is. There he is. Oh. Breakfast is ready. Wow, we got here. <laughs> Look at the health. Thanks, in there. So, gotta finish her up, she's open. That's good. Look at that. Come on, Stanton, get in there. All right, a little mm. strawberry action. Little berry action. Go on the fruit. Dip it in some yogurt. No, I ain't going to Uh, good great. day. How are you supposed to talk on camera? <laughs> <laughs> Night <Nice> fish. <laughs> Natural, no bottom lip quivering. <laughs> no bottom lip quivering. Loosen up those shoulders. It's just a camera. A little different than the bacon and eggers we used to rock on these yeah. trips, eh? I'm pretty impressed, actually. Uh, do you want some? Uh, it looks like you're down to the bottom. Yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> down to the drags. <laughs> I thought I saw something in one of your pockets, too. Oh, my garbage pocket. What I got here? Oh. <laughs> hey? What does that mean? Well, that means that was a good day of fishing. <laughs> So what we're running today is uh, linear 10-4 six weights with an Islander LX. Um, line of choice for me is the Anadro. It pairs really well, um, the SA Anadro. And then I'm running uh, some Seaguar, a uh, straight eight pound leader at about 20 feet and another four foot of 3X SA um, Trout Supreme Floral. Um, as far as flies go, we're fishing chronomids and bloodworms today. Um, so I am running a size 14 bloodworm, pretty simple pattern here. And then on the other rod, I have another size 14 ASB black rib, black bead. As I said, 24 foot of water. I wanna hang this thing one foot off the bottom. So I'm gonna count out six foot increments here on my pole. That gives me my 18. There's 24, and I'll back that up just about three feet. On the blood worm. Wet your instrument. Just get it in there until you feel a little bit of resistance. You don't want to, there wasn't much in there. No. We'll see, didn't see much in there. <laughs> and that's what we're dealing with right now.
Hey, what you doing? Turn over. Different, different day, different color. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my lair. It's pretty in there. Know your neighbor. Know your neighbor. Scanning this big mud flat here, 24, 25 feet of water, hoping to find some bigger fish laying in that deeper water. So, one ounce Betty, hook the cron on, send her down, strip your line out, hit bottom. Setting the rod in the rod holder. Okay, reel up. So your rod tip touches bottom. There you go. Now you know you're exactly one to two feet off bottom. So at this point, don't reel in. Leave the line where it is. Strip it up. Unhook your Betty. Back in the box. And now it is just straight down. Keep your reel locked on so you know where it is. You're 22 feet, 23 feet, and 24 feet of water. One foot up bottom. Simple as that. flies that I've been doing really well on. This is one I have on right now with the Type 7. And it's this is a chewed up version of that. And then this is the, the half hog. So we have some nice black deer here on the top. So today we're fishing a little deeper water. We're in 29 feet. We've got a leech out there in 24, a couple little bobber downs. And I'm running a, a foam deer hair gomphus uh, with some um, knotted uh, pheasant tail legs. And I'm on a Type 7 doing like a 40 second count, kind of pin it right off the bottom and then a faster retrieve, pulling it up and kind of getting them as they're coming up the column. Call the crackalaka leech right off the bottom. We're looking for those big fish that are hugging the bottom. So this is the original crackalaka leech down here that I'm fishing. It's been a great fly for me over the last couple of years. And uh, then they started making these tungsten head turner beads, and I've been using a jig hook with the tungsten head turner. And they sit a little more horizontal, and I think I get better hookups. And that hot spot is really key, especially when you're fishing, you know, tan and colored lakes like this. Pink, orange, bright, bright, and I think it brings them in a little bit. This morning picked up in a little bit deeper water, uh, sort of 25 to 30, hooked up right away uh, with the, the dragon. Um, started with the dangle, 
um, fishing sort of your classic seven line uh, leader, you know, maybe three, four feet of eight pound floral to a swivel, fairly heavy swivel uh, to about three feet of eight pound down to your fly. Usually that's successful, but today I'm finding it's mostly on the strip. So switched over to the strip here and just hooked up immediately. So casting out and doing anywhere from a count to 30 to 50, lots of patience and then strip, strip, pause, strip, strip, pause. And that seems to be the answer today. Last evening is one of those special Stillwater events that goes down as one of my favorite to film of all time. We were set up down on the north end near the bridge where the bank kind of cuts around and I was on shore. I had some of my drones with me and I had my tripod set up with my long lens and the boys all came in and anchored perfectly parallel. As fall dictates, the fish just before dark kind of started cruising in that three or four feet of water between me and the crew. Everyone turned around, started flipping indies into super shallow water, yanked out the FPV drone and got some of the coolest footage that I can think of to date.
on here. Mm. She's a little burger fest. That's got to be toasted Ooh. bun for full pleasure. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the key is to yeah. add potato chips. You got chips and on there for crunch? Oh, add yeah. potato chips in there to make the that, that's ultimate old, crunch. That's an old school trick. Yeah. Wow. Heavy. Can't teach that. Everybody's helpful. We're all eating everybody's food. Everyone's, you know, yes. Stanton's bumming on everybody. That's fine. Oh, can I steal one? Yeah, you can have one. You know, one of the things that uh, I learned this trip is uh, to cast my indies out about 60 foot on either side of the boat. And that's to keep Stanton and Jack at bay. You know what? I don't know where this all started. I, I always, before I set any anchors down, I give a courtesy. Am I too close? See a spot there. And a lot of people say to me, like, if you're saying that, maybe you're too close. But that's not how I see it. <laughs> well, this comes in the poach master. Well, somebody's gonna catch this. And a lot of the times, I just want to be close to my friends. Take your shirt off. Take your shirt off and roll.